Mm -hmm. When you're getting started with a product ops team, are you then really looking to get like a some kind of all rounder in to kind of just look after everything, or are you very much recommending? You're both shaking your head, so I'm assuming that you're going to say no. But and finish my question is like, are you really looking for someone to come in and kind of work on the most important thing? I think that's what you're saying, but is that really then what you're looking at? Get the most important pillow in first and then work out if you need the rest exactly we mentioned that in the book we don't advocate trying to take on all of that at once it's sort of boiling the ocean spreading yourself too thin so where's the biggest gap where's the biggest opportunity and i uh, teach a master class for products labs about you know sort of uh, intro to, to product ops and uh we do an interactive exercise where we set up um product operations this right now it's at opening eye um, you know, sort of a, a, a practice. Um, and people, it's like, do you want to hire for a data analyst or for a process person? I give them a scenario. I'm like, well, can we just hire for both? And I'm like, that's a purple squirrel. If you could find someone like that, <laughs> amazing, but you're not going to be able to for the purposes of this. So pick one. So it's really about where the biggest needs and opportunities are. I'll also say too, in some organizations, uh, there are, we do acknowledge in the book as well, there are other functions that could be doing the data side or could be yeah. doing the user research side. And we don't advocate for if they're being done well to just like replace them and be like, they're product ops now. Like we say work with those teams, but in so many organizations, those are big gaps. 